Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. Joining me now is Karen Gilbert. She is the director of the CTE program for the Beaufort County School Districts. And we are really excited to chat with you this morning, Karen, because obviously there is a great need and it keeps increasing for career and technology education. So talk to us a little bit about the program through the school district. Okay, excellent. Betsy, thank you and WHHI for having me on today. Um, you know, CTE is also referred to as Kate sometimes, uh, but even with the title changes, workforce development over the years, uh, vocational ed, the heart of that is a systems and programs in place that help connect our young people to current and emerging uh, fields. So, for example, here in Beaufort County School District, we have approximately each year 4,000 or so students who take advantage of uh, taking more one or more career and tech ed courses. So it's a significant number. And uh, the actual courses start in the middle grades. Um, they do some exploratory about what types of jobs are out there, uh, how stuff works. And then as they move on into our high schools and our career center, they have an opportunity to select from really 32 pathways that interests them. Um, they're not locked in uh, by no means, but it is a great opportunity for them to, uh, so to speak, try on a, right. uh, an area that they think they might be interested in. Well, I think that sounds fascinating. And 32 different programs, that's uh, you know quite the selection there. And obviously 4,000 students, like you said, that's a big number. So talk to us a little bit about um, the program itself, but they do get a high school diploma if they choose one of those paths, but what else do they get going through one of those programs? Yeah, excellent question. So um, there's some perks uh, to uh, be go going into the career and tech ed programs. Um, basically, they're state approved courses that's organized under uh, occupational clusters. So if I want to be a nurse, I would take a series of healthcare related courses uh, from entry level, learn a little bit about the, the different careers within the healthcare industry. Then I get into specific training uh, for example, all of our uh, pathways have an opportunity for students to earn what's called stackable credentials. So uh, now as a student walks across the stage and they earn that high school diploma, they can also have as part of their portfolio a basic life support CPR first aid, um, certified nursing assistant. Um, if they're moving in, they want to be a welder. Uh, there's a certification called the American Welding Society or AWS. Um, another one of our great pathways we have for students is automotive. So if they uh, want to take all the series of courses and build upon those skills, they can take a couple of certifications that industry recognize, such as um, maintenance and light repair or uh, brakes and elect electrical. So it's just a great way uh, to have these components available for students that not only want to learn some foundational skills in an area of interest, but then it really starts to help them market themselves so that whatever they're going to do once they graduate with us, uh, they've got a, a good um, uh, plan in action to uh, move forward. An yeah. Another area that's important, Betsy, with career and technical education is employability skills. I'm sure in, in your world and talking with our local employers, um, we always hear about those soft skills or those employability skills. So we are uh, have really had a major focus these past few years on what's called an employability credential. So we encourage all of our students that by the time they graduate, they've been exposed to a series of, it's, it's 10 modules, but it's stuff like teamwork, uh, communication, problem solving, critical thinking. A lot of these things that employers say, look, if We'll teach them the, the foundational processes of our company, but you know, um, having students exposed to the importance of um, soft skills, so to speak. So those are also credentials that our students can earn along with being able to complete a pathway uh, that says, hey, I have an interest and I have some foundational skills as well as those certifications. Well, Karen, what a fascinating program. Thank you so much for being here today to share a little bit about it with us and in all those great skills that the students can get. You'll have to come back so we can talk a little bit more about it another time. Thank you so much again. Okay, thank you so much. And we'll be right back, so don't go away.